Hey guys, I'm so sorry. This is a follow-up video. This is after I've already done all the uh, work that you're about to see. Uh, but I, for some reason, I lost audio on halfway through the video. And um, the first part, I can't find it. I can't locate it. The first part was explaining what happened uh, or why I'm putting this on the uh, on the truck. So let's get to it. So what I'm, what I was, um, why I decided to put this on the truck, is because uh, my my truck, my 2016 Chevy Silverado, would slip between like the lower gears, like the first and the second. It would like give a hard slip. I have already had added one of these bottles, and I saw an improvement. And on the instructions, it does say you might need to add a second bottle for uh, larger. Um, transmissions and well I got a truck so I decided to add two bottles and I will post the results uh, through a short video uh, my truck right now has 66,928 miles so I'm gonna drive it a hundred miles it does say that uh, results are usually usually immediately immediate um, yeah immediately <laughs> or immediate uh, but yeah, uh, that's that's what uh, why I decided to add this bottle. So make sure to like, subscribe, and look out for that other video, the short video, that uh, you know, uh, giving an update on how it worked after two bottles. After one bottle, I saw a huge improvement. Well, let's let's see what two bottles does. Okay, all right, guys, thank you for watching and enjoy the video. If you have any questions. Uh, make sure to comment down below. Might be able to help you if I see them, or maybe somebody else could help. Okay, so I put the jack on the truck. All you want to do is just touch it like that. That way, just in case this fails, at least the truck won't, <laughs> won't go down on you because you're going to be working right there, okay? So, uh, so what you want to do is you take your bottle, Take your bottle and you're gonna need, um, so what I got is I got a little funnel. Cause I tried that pump, that pump, the, the transfer pump, and I kinda didn't like that it made a mess, but I got this, I got some of these little funnels, cut the top, I mean, cut the bottom, and uh, this should fit perfect. Uh, but I will show you guys when I get there, get you a clean, a clean cloth. Make sure it's clean because you're going to be uh, cleaning right there where uh, the transmission goes in. So another thing you're going to need is a wrench. Uh, 10 or I think it's a 7 16th. Yep. A 7 16th or a number 10. Uh, what else? I'm kind of, I'm trying to remember. And I think that's it. I think that's all you're going to need. Just this wrench or bottle. And uh, just to unscrew some of these screws that you're going to see. So let me get under there and resume the video. Okay, so you go in. This is, a, this is the beginning, the front of the truck. You go in, you pass this cover, and you're going to see your transmission right here. Right here. So here's the heat shield and it does it does feel hot because I just drove it because the instructions also do say uh, added added a uh, car has idled or it's warm and I did drive it about like 30 minutes 20 to 30 minutes and um, and uh, so it should be good see add to existing transmission fluid with engine warm and idling or with fluid change. I mean, I'm not gonna add it while idling because <laughs> it produces CO2. I don't wanna be breathing all that shit in uh, while I'm down here, but you, you you need to be careful because you don't want your, your hand touching this because it's very hot, very, very hot. So what you wanna do is just unscrew this. Oh, and I think I grabbed, I think I grabbed this one too big. So let me go fix that. Okay, fellas. So it is a number 10. And you unscrew it. Like I said, you 
be very careful with this. It's very hot. Oh, also, you you will need or is I do recommend it because it's way easier to get a wrench that has this because these two over here, one on this side and this one on this side are very hard to get to and this helps out a lot, okay? So let me get those off because I will not be able to with the camera in my hand because this is very hot and I'm afraid I'm gonna touch it, okay? All right, guys, uh, not sure why my iPhone stopped recording audio, but anyways, uh, you, uh, after I already got the heat shield off, uh, you want to make sure that, uh, that you see, as you see right there, I'm saying that I got the heat shield off and then you're going to have this little plug. You're just going to have to, uh, um, pull it up and right here I take my gloves off. And again, I'm so sorry, not sure why my iPhone stopped recording uh, audio, but anyways, I put that little funnel. I take off the uh, the plug and put that little funnel really sucks really really sucks my phone stopped recording audio let me silence it okay so here I took off the plug and make sure to um, clean it with your cloth make sure it's clean and then clean the top clean the top or just around where the plug came out of and then what you want to do is just put that little funnel in there and it fits perfectly and now what you want to do is cut your bottle like that and then after that then you just start pouring like this And, and it takes about like 10 minutes so it is a messy job so make sure to wear a shirt that you don't want or you know you don't use anymore or maybe a work shirt like this shirt that I had it was a, a company shirt that I used to work for and I have tons of them so I really didn't care that the transmission fluid was leaking on me but yeah, uh, you are going to have to have some patience with the bottle because uh, halfway, halfway to the, through the bottle, you won't be able to squeeze anymore because, um, because of the angle. You really can't go, you really can't tilt the bottle up because there's a heat shield there that will prevent you from uh, going more up. But what I did is I grabbed the little funnel and then I grabbed that clear cup and I just poured it and I finished it like that and they worked perfectly guys uh, I would say better than just pouring it through the bottle so if you want to do that that that's fine grab you a clear cup like the one you see there and uh, pour your Lucas like that like I'm showing right there pour it and then just start filling it up so right there I'm just uh, um, showing that the bottle is almost completely empty uh, that I'm not really worried about how much I left but see as you see I only left that much um, but what you want to do is just squeeze it to the sides through the sides or from the sides I'm sorry squeeze it from the sides and just continue pouring on the uh, on the funnel and it's gonna take like about you got you gotta have some patience it's gonna take like about 10 minutes so after um, you're done pouring uh, you do not want to put that plug back in not just yet first you want to turn on your car and let it idle for about five minutes that's what I did to mine as you'll see right there um, so I put my jack a little bit down with the handle because it wouldn't let me open the door but as you can see right there I got about 66,000 miles 66,922 I believe so what, you, what I'm going to do here is just let it idle. Let it idle for five minutes and then I'll come back. After that, uh, just turn it off. I turned it off. And now I'm going to put the plug back in. And here, guys, I just put the plug back in. And we're good to go. That's it. That's the end of the video.